Hello everyone, my name is Genti and today, together with Catherine, we'll be talking about our research entitled Ukrainian Brides. We'll try to explain how online dating agencies make huge profits by operating illegally in Eastern Europe and specifically in Ukraine. Their main goal is to mislead the men who come from West, mostly United States or United Kingdom, and who are hoping to marry young women from Ukraine. One of these agencies is Brashka, also known as a paper letter dating, PPL, a big business in the former Soviet Union Republic with thousands of Ukrainian women spending nights chatting with foreign men online. Before we analyze the mechanism of the online dating agencies, let's mention some facts about Ukraine. Ukraine borders with Russia, Belarus, Poland and Romania. The capital is Kiev and the second largest uh, city is uh, Odessa. The religion is Orthodox Christian. The unemployment is 23%. Another reason that might let us understand why women are obliged to accept jobs like with the online dating agencies. Ukraine is not yet a member of the European Union but as of February 2014, it has applied to become a member. International dating is a modern and progressive civilized solution to sex slaves. You must pay for every letter, chat or minute of communication, much alike phone sex services advertised on last pages of mail magazines. You can also send gifts and flowers on payment and the agency will help you organize your visit to meet your dream bride. One of these companies is uh, Anastasia International, a huge company with a projected revenue as of 2016, making in profit without taxes $140 million. The agency advertises the myth, dating a model but with the values of your grandmother. The catch of the agency is to advertise brides with family values. The men featured in testimonials are sick of Western women whom they insist have forgotten family values. This turns into emotional. Due to the time difference between Ukraine and the United States, the, the largest consumer of internet dating services in Ukraine are lonely American males who are promised to be introduced to a loving Ukraine wife. The working shift starts at 6 p.m. in Ukraine and ends when customers go to bed on the other side of the Atlantic. How are women advertised? Women are advertised as beautiful, young, in shape, loving and affectionate, with number one priority, the family. They are very good cooks, they are very clean and have a very high sex appeal. The process initially starts with men registering on Ukrainian international dating sites to search for women. The sites look like the one that we have here advertised for you. Second step, bachelors pay to chat by the minute and they hire translators at an hourly late rate who are introduced by the agency and that's, let's also mention here for a second time that the main, of the main goal of the agency is to prolong this communication as much as they can so that they can charge the bachelors or the customers for a longer rate. As a third step, men travel to Ukraine to attend social parties. They pay between um, fifteen to three thousand dollars to go on these Roman tours and meet their Ukraine bride. Usually, between fifteen and twenty-five men are introduced to one hundred and fifty or two hundred and fifty women, who always communicate through an interpreter. To analyze the part of the scam, we have chosen Anastasia International Company that sends daily between 500,000 and 1.7 emails. The essence of the work for the agency is to correspond with the highest possible number of foreign men on a dating site in order to attract them, seen as a sales call, in essence, more calls, more money are charged for the company. The foreigner, on the other hand, pays to the site company to use the services of the marriage agency and has the ability 
to communicate with the most beautiful girls in the world. So in reality, all the work is done by the, by the translators who communicate with the other party who is seeking a bride. The ugly truth of the part of the scam scenes from the client's perspective is that agencies online employ a high number of male translators to write letters and chat posing as pretty girls. According to The Guardian, from 39 to 271 companies in Ukraine seek to hire young Ukrainian women to pose as brides, wanting to marry foreign men for photographs online. And men translators who will be corresponding with bachelors from USA or Great Britain mainly, pretending to be the ideal female model for them. After men spend large sums of money talking with male translators online, they are invited to go to Ukraine to meet uh, the real bride. The women are actually real, but upon arrival, most men do not meet up the women they have been chatting with online. According to The Guardian, the U.S. Embassy in Kiev receives numerous reports from the U.S. citizens who have been the victims of a particular type of internet fraud. These scams will result in requests for increasing amounts of money for various purposes in order to prolong the meeting so the bachelors can spend more time in the phone and generate more money for the agents. The U.S. Embassy on its side advises that even if the woman you have become acquainted with does exist and is honestly trying to visit you in the United States, the U.S. Embassy is unlikely to give her or to issue her a visa so that she can travel in the United States to meet with uh, her man. With reference to two true stories, uh, we have Todd, 43 years old, from, Dev from Delaware, who was a bread delivery man and saved up $5,000 to spend in Odessa. And after having spent a lot of money chatting to meet the women, he arrives in Ukraine and neither of them answers his calls. Stefan, also 62 years old from Texas, on his 11th trip to Ukraine, also had the, the same fate after he spent a lot of money in flights and fees. Uh, Elena, the girl who was supposed to travel back home with him, said that she needed time for commitment and she was not ready for a marriage. The Guardian defines this process as emotional prostitution, men spending thousands of dollars online, never having met a bride, but waiting the hope of finding the soulmate. For Ukrainian women, this offers a salary from the scam chatting with older men online for hours. Anastasia International, the agency, while not directly colluding in the scams, runs a highly profitable business model that allows them to flourish. American and British older men go broke in the hope of finding the ideal bride. While men go broke uh, back at home without a bride and money, Ukraine's internet industry is booming. The economies of several Ukraine cities are boosted by the surreal and disingenuous online bride business. On the other hand, the irony of fate is that men are willing to pay large sums of, of amounts of money and travel on tours to find a wife or a partner, despite often having very little in common with them. Judging from ethical concerns of marriage agencies, impl uh, of employees, some sources estimate the scale of PPL operations at over $100 million a year. This leads us to believe that there is not enough pressure from the authorities to look into the scam. Politically, we have a failure of the current government to find and punish the illegal agencies instead of being corrupt and allow their business to flourish. Translators complain about unscrupulous operators who lure them with promises of great earnings, but in reality they pay only 50 cents per letter or $2 uh, per hour during the chat. Here we have included the link of a mail order bride documentary for you that shows in detail how the online dating agencies operate and additional sources where you can find more information in case you are interested about the mail 
order brides in Ukraine. Thank you uh, very much and I hope you enjoyed the video.